Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate my new behavior that allows us to load and animate external textures in Copper Cube 3D Game Engine. As always, this extension is completely free to download from our website www.neofide.cf. So go ahead and download the extension from here. Once you have downloaded and installed the extension to your computer, now open up your Copper Cube editor. Let me just maximize it. And we are going to simply attach our behavior to our root scene node. You can attach to whatever scene node you want, but I'm going to use my root scene node here. Go to scripted behavior and search for animate external texture. Once you have selected the behavior, then you will be provided with bunch of different parameters here. First one is our affecting node. And as always, it is going to be our node on which we want to apply our textures. So in my case, it is cube mesh one. Then we have affect all the materials and we are going to leave it on true because we want to affect all the materials of this cube mesh here and it has only one material so it doesn't matter if you check it or uncheck it but you can uncheck it if you, your object has multiple materials and then you can specify the material index here in the affecting material node so that it will only affect the specific material of your object but we are going to check back affect all materials here and then we have directory which is going to be the folder on which all of our textures resides. In my case, it is Bandai logo on my desktop, which has all the frames that I want to animate, or you can say all the textures that I'm going to use as frames for my animation. So it has frame one to frame 392. So it has 392 textures in my Bandai logo folder here. So I'm going to rename it from background to Bandai logo because it is going to use this directory with the textures to animate the texture of the cube mesh. Then we have texture name, which is by default frame. And if I go to our texture directory here, then you will notice that all the textures has a base name, which is frame. And then we have an incremented number like one, two, three, four, five till 392. So we are going to supply our base name in our our texture name here so base name is frame because we have frame here in your case it can be something else like texture one or animation one or whatever you want so we will leave it to the default value frame here then we know that we have 392 frames because we have total number of frames as frame one to 392 so we are going to insert 392 as total number of frames or you can say number of frames then we have time per frame or it is the parameter which decides the speed of animation you can increase it to make the animation slow or you can decrease it to make the animation go faster so it is one frame per texture right now so you can put eight frames per texture so it will change or animate to the next frame after eight frames so i'm going to leave it on default value with one then we have looping option here it decides if you want our texture or or you can say our animation to be looped continuously or play continuously or if we want to play it once and then stop so and then we have act allow loading, then we have action on load, and then we have action on finish. And we are going to discuss about these in a moment. But first, let me test the application by pressing Ctrl F10. If I press Ctrl F10, then you can notice that the debugging panel says, could not open file of texture. Then we have directory name. Then we have our texture name with the incremented value dot PNG. And that's because we need to save our project in the same directory as our texture folder. So in my case, it is my desktop. So I have to save my project on my desktop. Let me just save it on my desktop and I'm going to name it test and hit the save button. Once it is saved here, I'm going to test my application again by pressing Ctrl F10. If I press Ctrl F10, then you will notice that all the textures are loaded and the cube mesh is now animated with the external textures. And all the textures are being loaded into the memory. And now it has loaded them all in the memory. 
but there is an issue with loading of or you can say immediate animating of the cube mesh here that's why we have this allow loading option here which will load all the textures in initially into the memory and won't animate this cube mesh until all of them are loaded into the memory so if i press ctrl f10 now then it will load all the textures into the memory and once they all are loaded then only it will animate the texture of the cube mesh it will increase the performance and it won't result in frame drops so it is better to use allow loading you can show a loading screen or a progress bar here while the textures are loading and as you can see it is in now loop it is repeating itself so we can uncheck this looping option here so that the video will play only once or you can say it will only animate once and once all the textures are loaded it is going to be animate and it will be going to animate only once and then it will stuck to the last frame which is going to be a black frame here And as you can see, it is now not animating or looping again and again. It is stuck to the last frame, which is a black frame here. So let's just hit escape button. Then we have action on load. And what it will do is it will execute any of the supplied action once all the textures are loaded into the memory. So suppose we can play a sound here. So I'm going to play a sound to mimic a video. So I'm going to game and sound, then play a sound, then select this be any logo movie, which is the sound effect for this uh, video sequence, or you can say animation sequence. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now if I press Ctrl F10, then it will load all the textures into the memory. And once all the textures are loaded, it will be going to animate the texture and also going to play the sound effect. So just wait to load it and as you can see it loaded the textures into the memory wait let the sound finish as you have noticed that it played the video faster or it played the animation faster and the sound effect is very much slower so how can we fix this issue or how we can synchronize the sound with the audio oh sorry the audio with the visuals so as we know that video plays at 24 frames per second so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert 2.4 as time per frame here in my behavior and what it will do is it will synchronize the audio with the visuals i'm sorry if i'm uh, pronouncing the name wrong or the word wrong synchronize it will synchronize the audio with the visuals perfectly so if i play the app, um, application now if i test the application now it will then play the sound effect perfectly with the visuals synchronized so if i press ctrl f10 and it is going to load all the textures and once all the textures are loaded it is going to play the animation with the synchronized audio so we have to wait let's just see so, as you have noticed it played the sound and the video perfectly but what if we have looping animation so suppose we have looping animation and we want to play the sound effect let's just see it does place the sound perfectly with the visuals but there is an issue when you go in your action on load and select this looped here in order to loop the audio as well so if i press the ctrl f10 to test the application then it will you know load the animation and do all the stuff but 
you will be going to notice a different here, difference here. Oh, pretty nice. It worked perfectly. But give it one more chance. I don't think the sound is now synchronized at the second time. Let's just see it one more time. Yep, the sound is not synchronized with the visuals. And in order to fix that, what you are going to do is do not use looped here for the sound. Just uncheck it and then just come to action on finish and what this action does is it plays or it executes an action once the animation gets completed. So what we are going to do is we are going to play a sound again once the animation gets completed. So I'm going to go here in action on finish and we are going to play a sound once the animation gets some completed and we are going to choose the same sound effect without any looped option selected for this sound action for both of these actions and now if I press ctrl F10 and it will load all the animation and once all the animations get loaded or the frames gets loaded it will play the animation and loops it and you will notice no difference in the synchronization of audio and visuals Let's just give it one more time to see if it Let's just check one more time to see if it changes or there is difference in sound effects. Let's see one more time. So as you can notice that every time the video is looped and the audio is played it is completely synchronized because we are not using the inbuilt looped behavior or you can say inbuilt looped option here for the action play sound because it adds a delay in the looping of the sound. So we are ignoring that option instead we are going to play the sound same sound again once the animation gets completed you can do whatever you want let me just create a cube mesh here in order to demonstrate the action on finish so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the texture of our second cube mesh on one complete cycle of the animation of this first cube mesh so I'm going to change a texture, then going to select our cube mesh too. And then I'm going to change the texture to something like this. So what it will do is it will play the animation or you can say the looped animation on this cube mesh, but it will change the texture on one complete cycle of the animation for the second cube mesh. So it will change the texture of the second cube mesh once the animation cycle of this first cube mesh gets completed. If I press Ctrl F10 now, and we have to wait to load all the textures, and we have to wait until it completes one animation cycle. Wait, wait, and wait. So bam, as soon as the second animation cycle starts, you can notice that our second cube mesh texture has been changed. So the behavior is working completely fine. So that's it. That's it. That's how the behavior works. And remember, in order to mimic a video effect, you need to use 2.4 as time per frame and you need to use allow loading here 
if you don't use allow loading then it doesn't matter whatever you do here it won't play any sound for the first time but it will play sound for the second time so let's just watch it it will play the sound perfectly for the second time but it won't play any sound effect for the very first time so in order to play sound while using the visuals you need to use allow loading options here and in order to play the animation smoothly without any lag, lag or delay you need to select this allow loading option here if it is unchecked then you might get delay in the visuals or your game will lag while loading the textures so what you can do is you can create a temporary loading screen which will show the progress of the loading textures or something like that you can show a loading icon while all the textures are loading and then you can hide or unhide those overlay or textures once the textures are loaded you can use action on load for that and that's it that's how it works and i hope you like the video if you like the behavior then give it a thumbs up use it for your project or whatever you want it is completely free to download from the website link will be in the description down below join my discord server and subscribe to the channel bye bye good night take care have peace